it goes back to the original question that you posed uh, is beef good for poker mm-hmm. like of course that's yeah. all people for the most part the majority of people that's all they tune it, in for it brings Doug the Polk, interest daniel negrano Mm-hmm. everybody yep. watched right. that yep. everybody wanted that to happen for mm-hmm. so long they the, the the hate was very real on both sides now they're you know i i don't dare say friends but friendly they're friendly you know it happened mm-hmm. and doug had to respect that okay daniel got in the ring he lost you know what a nine hundred thousand, but he did it <laughs> right. and it was a put up shut up kind of moment berkey nick airball people just want to see it to jeff's point and i understand berkey He's doing it for the money. For sure. He's doing it to try and capitalize, maximize that that win rate, right? So right. don't let your opponent learn. Don't let your don't let your opponent see how to adjust. It, that's all people want in this industry is the drama. They want to see the fight, and it makes my cho- yeah, a great shot of Greg Raymer and, and Mike. That's one the of the most mouth, memorable moments of the Mike WSFP. The to your point. Madison. I've never seen this. You've never what? what? This, I know. It wouldn't shake his hand. Hey. I never saw that either. We, we've been through this with Landon a lot. Yeah. He, he knows well, know, nothing that happened in that. poker before 2012. I, I mean, Shiki, Sean Chacon, mm-hmm. right? I knew that guy. This guy, yeah. 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 Uh, Jamie Gold. Knew that guy. Got under everybody's skin. Kasuf, who we talked mm-hmm. about. Everybody wants to see the hero and the villain yep. and yep. eventually the, the fight. Right? We can get in a fist fight inside Bobby's room for crying out loud. <laughs> At yeah, 41 no, years no, old. Luckily, no fist. Right. right. Uh, but I think he's there, and he's like, okay, now what do I do? Do I go down this road? Do I go down this road? Or do I, how do I balance this? Man of many hats. Yeah. It's fascinating. I love it. I love watching. I love <laughs> That's all the, the thing, beef. Right? The, it's Everybody my loves job it. so easy. <laughs> I, I mean, we're going we're gonna, to – I can't reveal – again, I don't want to spoil it. By the way, we'll have a big announcement coming Thursday. <laughs> but it's just when you're putting lineups together, like – well, I, I know who I want in this game yeah. for all these reasons, yeah. you know, and it just, it's great. Well, as we well know, one man not afraid to celebrate right there on the left of your screen is Mike Matisau finding himself in a big hand with this man, Greg Raymer. Greg from Connecticut. Oh, talk about evil eye, Norm. If this guy walks into his train station looking like that, I'm taking the bus. <laughs> Raymer, glasses and all, has put down a 20,000 chip raise with two sevens and a straight draw on the board. Matisau comes over the top with a 40,000 chip raise. Putting a lot of pressure on Raymer. Raymer considers, does he want to lose that many chips here? Nope, he folds it. You gotta stop me, buddy. I'm gonna bust you if you me. Matisau taunting Raymer here. All right, Mikey. You ain't playing with kids, buddy. All right, Mikey. Oh, I got balls of steel. He's got one speed. Steel balls. I got big cojones. You got little cojones. <laughs> Talk about him, Mike. <laughs> Talk about yourself all you want. He's joking around. We know that. I'm just joking. Uh oh. Ah. He doesn't understand your joke, man. Uh, I'm sorry, bro. I'm just messing with you. Raymer just scribbled in his notebook. Seat number one is a jerk. 